Hey there, you two. <laughs> we're back. It's still the same day as the last episode because we're batch recording. So welcome back to behind the scenes of the Intentional Mompreneur podcast, where you will see the good, the bad, and the ugly of Polly Gage and Nicole Easton recording. <laughs> Here we are on the podcast, janky cord, um, totally organized drawers, not really sure why she's embarrassed. Oh no, these aren't organized, like so much crap. Not this, even is, folded, I'm sure. this is what we call anal retentive, that's right there, okay. Um, anyways, good thing you can't see it from the view I'm looking at. Last time we were in my closet, my entire shoe rack was on the floor. Okay. So today, I'm, I'm winning. The shoes are in the shoe rack going I'm up the wall, so... Anyways, welcome to episode two. We're going to talk about overwhelm and battling that with babies and a business. And so welcome. We are going to start recording our podcast now. Paula, are you going to intro, intro or me? Yep, sorry. <laughs> I, had to, okay. I, just, I missed something. Over. Okay. Okay. Welcome to episode two. Hold on, hold we, on, hold on. Let's oh. give George a break. Let's give George a break. I'm hitting record. We are going to clap, and you guys will know that when we clap, it's when we messed up and needed to start over again. So our yeah. editor in chief, George, can get it done. So there it is. Hey there, mama. We see you, girl. And we know you're not just a mama. Mom life is hard enough without a business, and it can be so overwhelming to juggle all the things that come with being a business owner, a wife, and a mom. It can feel like one area is thriving and the other is failing, which leaves you feeling like a complete failure either way. We want to help you and your family find buy-in in your business and have harmony in your home life. We're on a mission to empower entrepreneurs like you to embrace your purpose both inside and outside the home while kicking mom guilt to the curb. Let's get your ish together so you can manage your business and full-time family life. The secret is setting your intentions with grit and bathing them in grace. In each episode, we're going to come alongside you, have real conversations, provide action steps and tangible solutions like life systems and business strategies so you can build a profitable business, become a more present mother, and impact our world while growing a stronger faith. Hi, I'm Nicole Easton. And I'm Polly Gage. This is the Intentional Mompreneur Podcast. Okay, welcome to episode two, where we're going to talk about the never-ending battle of business and babies and the overwhelm that comes along with it. And by babies, we mean children of any age, okay? Any person that you consider your responsibility or is still dependent on you in any way, that's the baby we're talking about. In they don't have to actually act like a baby. They can actually be a big baby. You may have a very large baby that you sleep next to every night that he, he's included. Battling <laughs> the business and baby overwhelm. Our goal is to have real conversations and provide real solutions for you guys. So as you listen, just know that we're real, we're here, and we're a resource to you, not just to talk about the hard, but also to be a resource to you to fix the hard. And we want to bring you hope. And today we want to help you go from overwhelm to under control. Ooh, that was good. Very witty. Very <laughs> that was fantastic. I um, am good with words. I mean, you, you did, are. I, mean, I loved that. Okay. So problems, we've got problems right now. We're actually recording this during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So if you're listening to it during the COVID-19 pandemic, or maybe it's been a while, I'm sure you can just think right back to the massive amount of overwhelm that you felt during that time. I know for the first month of COVID and the quarantine, holy cow, like all the overwhelm I had previously felt in just everyday life like, mm -hmm. was quadrupled. Um, so let's talk about ideas, or not ideas, but let's talk about why we're overwhelmed, whether or not this is during a quarantine or just life as we are trying to build our businesses and raise our babies, things can be very overwhelming. So Nicole, feel free to just throw stuff out, but I'm sitting here thinking, you know, you're doing all the things, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're cooking, you're cleaning, maybe you're hiring that out. We'll definitely talk about that, but <laughs> I don't um, know how you hire it out during COVID, but you yeah, might be now that you're not exactly. <laughs> extra, um, you know, just schedules, routines with all the kids. How about self-care? How about self-care? Taking care of yourself. Oh my gosh. We did the opposite. I did the opposite of taking care of myself, which led me to 
start getting that under control again and being really strict with myself because, whoa, yes. the yes. chips like, and the drinks, the beverages, whoa. <laughs> right. We're not eating healthy. We're not nourishing mm -hmm. our body. Mamas are living off of like bread crust and goldfish and are undernourished. Mm -hmm. Then there's moms yeah. like me who, who homeschooled and or who homeschooled before COVID and we're relying on outside activities to give us a break. And then there's women who never homeschooled, never want to homeschool, still don't want to homeschool. And they're like, help me. <laughs> yes, there's like no, comp this is such a big word, compartmentalization. <laughs> <laughs> Compartmentalizing. Like yes. there's none of it. Everything is just bleeding together. There's yes. no control, there's no sanity. We're wearing all the hats at the exact same time and we are just over, wow. Mm -hmm. I, like right. my heart's elevated right now. I'm getting stressed out. Talking okay. About. Well, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty normal. Don't get fired up girl. Like I'm getting fired this. up. We're going to got this and see you guys, we don't have it all figured out. Like we don't have it all together, we but we're trying and we want to help you where you're at. You may feel alone in it because isn't that the name of this quarantine game? Aloneness. Yeah. <laughs> um, but plenty of us felt alone in some, in some ways, you know, before I think community is so important and uh, we have one. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to our website. But really, um, w when it all comes down to it, I found that myself, I was resenting things. You know, I was resenting being, having all this free time. I was resenting um, being home with my kids full time. And so really what we found is that there is a, there is a dichotomy and there's a, there's a, there's a paradox. There's a catalyst that changes. And that's when you can move from resentment of all the stuff that you have to manage and all the stuff you have to do to gratitude. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we use a mantra, which is um, intention and grace. And um, we're going to share more about that with you soon. But I just want you to know that if you can get this, this frame of mind and your mindset shifted, then you can have a lot of success very quickly and feel a difference right away. Totally. And one of those things that takes us from resentment into gratitude is acceptance. Mm -hmm. Um, one, something actually that really comes to mind, cause I want to talk about like time blocking, having a plan, having a new routine. Um, my sister, uh, her, her youngest, um, son back when he was, um, wasn't sleeping through the night and waking up really early. And, um, before he was born, she would wake up early and have time to herself in the morning before the kids wake up and do this routine. And it just really set the tone for the day. And, um, suddenly she had, had this sweet boy who, would wake up and totally throw off her groove. And for the longest time, she was so resentful about it because she was like, that's my time in the morning. And um, it wasn't until she like accepted what it was, started finding gratitude in the situation, and then just reframing and figuring it out, setting some intentions, giving herself a lot of grace on how to do that routine another way. Um, where she was finally able to really like get through that paradox, you know, that we're talking about where you're moving from resentment into just living a life of gratitude and in the present moment. Yeah, we, we're going to talk about on this podcast, um, things like time blocking and having a plan and, and a routine and setting those intentions. But then when things happen that mess it up, like your kids waking up too early and messing up your morning routine or whatever it is. Well, I mean, look at it, looking yeah. at this in light of COVID-19. I mean, look at how much has changed. Um, we've gone from having too many things to choose from to do to complete absence of the fear of missing out because nobody's doing anything. And all of a sudden we find ourselves not looking forward to anything. And so we have to find gratitude in the space that we're at. And we all have different seasons. Um, but there is something to be said about the whole world going through something at the same time. And we want to create that space here. I mean, we want, we want to be that place where you feel safe and understood. And I know for me, um, I don't know about you, Polly, but I'll get in mom's groups, which I love mom's groups. I love social interaction, but I find like, I'm the weird one. Like I'm the one that like does wants to work on something or, you know, just being an entrepreneur has a completely different mindset. And like, well, what do you do? Oh, I do a business online. You what? Like what? Right. You know I was at a mops. I was at a mops group the other day, and someone said, "Like, what do you guys put on forms when they ask you what your job is?" And I was like, "Oh, dang!" Like I, you know, um, it just made me realize, you know, like, man, am I in the right mom's group? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want this place to be that place where you feel understood. So whether the world is, the world is quarantined or not, like, just know that this is your tribe. Like, these are the people that get you and it takes so much less effort to just be understood and somebody gets you than it does to like explain the whole thing. And like, Oh, you still don't get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, and we're going to give you solutions and strategies and we're going to sit here and we, but we're going to walk the walk with you. And I mean, this just takes me back to yesterday. Like I have a solution for getting stuff done. So like right now, you know, kids are out of school and I don't have that school time where I usually work on my business. And so uh, what, one of my strategies and recommendations to other moms is give your kids an activity where they will be occupied and then you can get some work done. So mm -hmm. yesterday I do that. I mean, I take the time to roll out the paper on the table. I tape it onto the table with painter's tape. I get the paint trays out. I unscrew all the paint lids and the paint brushes. It's perfect. And then I call the, I have all my work set up on the counter so I can start stuffing some orders. And then my girls come over, they got their paint smocks on. I'm like, great, I'm gonna get a solid 30 to 45 minutes to just bust some stuff out. And right away, my daughter, Millie, messmaker Millie girl, throws paint on the ground. So mm -hmm. I saw a in, picture of that on the internet. Instead of, oh yeah. So, and I was like, oh man, it was so disappointing because I had the highest expectations of mm -hmm. being able to actually get some work done. I was so frustrated because the time, like I basically laid out something for my kids to do just to have to clean it up. I mm -hmm. mean- Mm -hmm. I got nothing done. And so, I mean, I was pretty upset. I even had to just take like a mental break and be like, all right, I need a break. So this is what we mean by intentions bathed in grace. Like yes. you set your intentions, you work, but things are going to happen. Bright mm -hmm. freaking red paint is going to get spilled on your carpet mm -hmm. and you're going to have to sit there and Google and spend an hour getting that out. Well, you know hiding. what? It also is a testament to having a community. Like you were able to take this picture, post it and have 10 people come alongside you and be like, girl, I know. No, like, no, for real. Like that is honestly something that helped me get through it. There were two or three people who commented on my post that were like, shared their story of it happening to them only like worse, like, <sighs> like nail polish remover, taking off the finish on their table and brand new table. And I'm just like, you know what? That actually totally made me feel better. <laughs> so this sense of community is huge. So we're here to give you these ideas, mm -hmm. these, these tips. But what we want you to understand right out of the gate is you can use all this advice and, and some days you're going to knock it out of the park. Mm -hmm. It's going to go really well. Right. Other days you're going to be cleaning up red paint and mm -hmm. swearing and mm -hmm. just having a bad freaking day. And that's okay. But yep. either yep. way you're progressing forward, you know, you're progressing forward, you're making progress, you've got solutions, you're, pre you're preparing and you're bathing yourself in grace. Yeah, I mean, for me, I am so easy and so quick to give grace to everyone else, which you can find us as a resource to just help you give yourself grace. But for me, I, you know, before I kind of had this mantra and this idea of bathing all of my intentions in grace, I wouldn't even start because the the idea of failing, trying it and failing at it was greater, a greater disappointment to me than not getting anything done. I mean, we literally. Call that, there's a name for that. It's so what is it called? Paralysis. What is it? Perfection paralysis. Yeah. Perfection paralysis, which you may not think of yourself in general as a perfectionist, but perfectionism can come in and creep in and like attack your intentions and you know, your ability to execute things all the time. Like, you know, and we, we always say, we have this thing, we say, start sloppy, do it, do it scared. Like you have to get out of the way of perfectionism. And that is probably something that that's where grace covers. Grace covers our imperfections and we have to accept that we're imperfect in order to let grace sit in. And so um, we'll talk a lot about grace in many different contexts, but it's really what we're about setting the intention, preparing. And when things don't go our way, we trust and pour grace all over it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially just on ourselves. I love what you said about it's so easy to give it to other people, but giving it to yourself, you know, even, even just going back to my experience yesterday, like at the end of the day, I was able to go to Millie and say, and she's three years old, you know, and I was able to say, I'm really sorry that I got so upset earlier. You, you, it was an accident and I have spilled things 
so many times before and it's been an accident. Like I've had bigger messes than that. So I'm sorry and let's try again, you know, tomorrow. And she was so happy, you know, that we were able to move forward from that. And so that is what you're going to, that's what you're going to find from us. And um, I kind of want to talk about some, some tangible solutions that you guys can take with you right now. Now, remember, we are recording this in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, and we created this resource to be helpful in this moment, but just as helpful outside of it. And so if we are still, if if the time of your listening to this, if we are still, you know, under certain quarantine, still practicing social distancing, this is going to resonate really, really deeply. But I want you to know that it was, it was made with the intention to serve you inside and outside this unique circumstance. And so um, we want to celebrate something that, you know, you may be used to something called a to-do list. Do you know what a to-do list is, Polly? Oh, I, oh, I do. (laughs) To-do lists makes us, make us feel guilty and anxious about everything we have to do. So we created something called the Ta-da list. <laughs> Yay. So that means instead of being anxious and bogged down by all the things we have to do, we created a list that allows you to celebrate the things that you've gotten done. Yes. I love it. Because how many of you just like take a piece of paper and just start writing down all the freaking things you have to do, you know, and you look at that to-do list and you, who has said these words? I have a never ending to-do list, right? Mm -hmm. So we are flipping that, okay, into a more positive spin and we're calling it a to-da list. So at the end of the day, you get to mark off stuff and say, ta-da, I did it, ta-da, I did it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And feel Mm -hmm. good about yourself. And this idea first came to me when I had just become a mom And I was getting nothing done because I had a newborn and it was Mm -hmm. my first time doing it. And so I just remember like, I I, I was like, I'm so not productive and I'm a doer. I'm a big time doer. And so at the end of the day, I'm an achiever. What motivates me is a productive day. At the end of the day, if I had a productive day, I feel really full. And so on the days that I don't, this is the way, if you are a doer or an achiever, this is how you can help yourself feel productive, okay? We actually have, we have a free gift for you. Um, Yay! I know, free gifts! <laughs> um, so um, at the end of every episode, we are, gonna, we are going to give you a tip. And tip stands for today's intentional practice. And so today is another free gift. We want to give you something right off the bat that's going to be helpful for you in getting you into a new routine, uh, a new normal, if you're still, you know, trying to find that during this quarantine time. Not only that, Um, summer's starting, so people are going to need it. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. (laughs) So this is a printable where you can really set your intentions and bathe them in grace. There's space for you to plan out your day. There's space for you to plan out your meals. There's space for you to write out your to-da list. There's space for you to have an evening celebration and just um, things that you can look forward to. So it's a really awesome resource and you can find it by going to our website, theintentionalmompreneur.com slash two, or by going to the resources tab on our website. Um, Also, we... As we were talking about community before, we don't want it to just be from our mouths to your ears, okay? We also want you to join us in community. So we want you to go to Facebook if you're on Facebook and be sure to join the Intentional Mompreneur community um, just by searching the Intentional Mompreneur on Facebook. And the link will also be in the show notes. So print out your guide to intention, fill it out, post a picture of it in the group so we can see what you're up to and how you're implementing intentionality into that full-time family life. And you can also follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, see all our latest posts. All the things, all the things, we're all there. And so if we're going to teach you anything, we got to at least be present there, right? So yes, we want to get to know you and our listeners. So come hang with us in there. We really are committed to serving you. And so part of serving you is knowing your needs. And so please take the time to share with us and connect with us. We want to meet with you. We want to connect with you one-on-one and, uh, you know, see how we can make a difference in your life with what it is we learned along the way. Love it. Okay, Nicole, it's about that time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's pray. I'm excited. Let's pray. Um, I'm excited about what good is going to come out of this episode. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to to share with women today, to inspire them and give them tools to grow 
um, in their own relationship with you and their and just the control that they feel that they have over their house, that they would relinquish that and that they would embrace grace in this time. And I just pray that if somebody's struggling in particular during this crazy season of life, whether it's summer or um, COVID, whatever it is, that they would find a resource that would bring them peace and sanity during this crazy season of life. And I know we all have them no matter where we stand in the world. And so I just pray that we would be a tool that would be used by you to bring um, peace 